Hello and welcome to uh, my let's play of Minecraft. Um, this is kind of a bit of an exploration of kind of redstone, mainly because I'm rubbish at it and it might be quite entertaining watching me fail badly. Um, this is something I've been working on for a while. No monsters, don't worry, I'm not going to explode. Um, so there's my big ass house and there is a stables and there's a mining house. I'm not quite sure why I built it separately. This is the kind of thing I would build, obviously without the threat of everything being exploded. Um, I've actually found quite a few, I think I found in this particular game about four pyramids. So I've got a few saddles, hence having some horses. And I think this is my ass. That's a, is it an ass? When you, I want to see what happens to, and you could breed the donkey with a horse but it's you can't really do anything with it he's lovely and all but he's a bit useless you're so cute though which i'll keep you but yeah all these are more practical i might go back and find another donkey because i like the donkeys they're quite cute um pokey pokey all right um what i'm planning to do is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna extend the house a little bit this way because if I go in there, I'll show you that particular room is a storage room. Here we go. And also a smelting room. Um, but what I see, what I've seen a friend do, at the very least, is um, make a hopper dropper system. I think that's the term. From a chest in where he digs. He does something similar like this, where he's got like a little outbuilding with his actual miners. To where his home is um we just drops it off in specific chests not just a large one like this and then the hopper distributes it to the correct chest or furnace depending what it is and i'm i really want to try to make something like that i mean i've done everything else so far yeah and splat um i have found a ravine Unfortunately, not a um, an abandoned mine shaft, which would be a lot more useful in this kind of setting at the moment. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, right? If you're wondering, I haven't actually gone down there yet, and there's yes, there's obviously some golden things. I always mind turning left, mainly because if you get lost, all you have to do is turn left, right to get out. Even follow the torches. I always keep the torches on my left on the way in and right on the way out because that way she starts getting lost um this one is there because that one's a dead end now let's try this again she says explaining her awesome technique which she just fluffed up um if you keep it to the left you know where you've been and which direction you're heading you're heading further into the mine you're for heading further into areas you've either not been to or haven't you know had a good look at so yes um haven't looked this out so yes i'm not quite sure I, as i said before i'm not brilliant with redstone i think the most i've done with redstone is make a little doorbell and that was when i was actually playing on a server um i was hoping to show you the server i've been on lately it's my friend's server um, he's looking to kind of population test it soon, see how much he can take. But seeing as it's currently in like um, not its permanent little server home, as it were, it is still going to be his server. Except he's going to transfer it to something a little more durable at a later date. But either way, it's nice to be able to play with them, even if they do have the monsters on. And my house gets getting attacked by creepers every ten minutes. I swear there's like creeper bait or something around my house. Or it could just be one of them leading the creepers to me. I, I, I swear I've seen a name tag run off before they implemented that new mod. Yeah, it's an interesting little mod. Um, they've all got names, and they all drop loot of some form. There's probably a technical term for it, but I can't remember them telling me. My net's playing up at the moment, otherwise I would show you. Also, I would ask my other friend to show me his hop or dropper thing. Nothing down there. Okay. I've only found one diamond so far. 
so I've not really been able to say say set up a nether system nether portal just yet it is on my to do because I do prefer glowstone over torches aesthetic wise ah, doo -doo -doo -doo. right why did I stop here hmm I remember posting a little topic on yes okay on the actual minecraft pages faq pages i think faq pages uh forum pages that was it and um just asking how people how different people explored the caves and things like that and um a lot of people were very random about it they just kind of walked in plonked to torch down every so often nothing kind of meticulous but then you had the people that would literally just flatten everything they would just they they would just dig out everything so it was all flat in one big huge rectangle. I suppose if you are playing with monsters on and with all that, it would be useful because then at least you can light everything quite evenly with no real issues. You probably get a lot more well ores and whatnot. I suppose that makes sense. Oh bloody bats! I remember the first time, first time they came in, I was really shocked to say the least. And now they're just irritating. <laughs> they're nice at all, but they're just like, oh, what did they do? And then you provide us with mild entertainment when they fly into the lava. Yes, I know, I shouldn't be digging right above me. It's naughty. Tut tut. But hey ho, live on the wild side. Okay. In case I don't get hold of any bit of uh, abandoned mine shaft, I really want to make sure I get as much iron as possible. Okay. Guess I actually have to make all the bloody stuff myself. I'd rather not, but I've searched and I've searched and I can't find anything abandoned mine shafty. Which is annoying, but it is just something I have to live with. And I'm also going to breed the horses just to see what happens. So the gold's quite useful. You may have seen when I was uh, looking at my place, there is a very nicely placed, <laughs> um, a very nicely placed uh, little section of little village nearby. Oh shit. A village nearby which is I've not actually traded to just yet because I've not actually had anything they wanted yet but hopefully I'll come come across some emeralds the issue well a bit of annoyance I love my I got a new keyboard for Christmas but for some reason it doesn't like the the uh, function keys and it just won't come up so if I pressed S3 right now to see the kind of depth and the area I was in it wouldn't show me them. It's really annoying. Especially on games like this, which kind of you need that kind of information to find things. Be it well, it's mainly the awesome and whatnot. Whee! Is there anything down there? Do -do 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 -do. No, it's dead end. Bit fine. So yes, what I might do is just have a look when we get back. Checking the time. Ten minutes in. Give it a take. <laughs> it's good. It's gooder. All right. How much have I got? Mm. I've left a torch down here. Hmm. 
nothing much there okay all right and here we go you just got to keep the torches to your right that way you can find your way out reasonably easily I admit I've got lost even using a method as foolproof and as simple as this and I've wandered past the exit quite a few times on one specific occasion but that is the nature of Minecraft especially on creative it's it's kind of nice to just get lost in the tunnels and I just realised I haven't put the music on at all because I was, I was watching a movie whilst I was designing my house sorry not video settings music and sound There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I'm always trying to remember after I had that first little comment from someone saying, Oh, could you put the music on? So I've always tried to remember since then. I'll do whilst get these whilst I'm here. It's just when you're designing houses and things, you don't particularly need to be listening out for, say, lava. You just tend to just design your house. At least I do. I like making big builds. Well, not big builds. I'm not a mega builder. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I just like making interesting houses. I like furnishing them with random things. So, like, I might. I don't know. I like putting like a kitchen area in. I know that sounds really daft. Like a little kitchen bit. I actually have a kitcheny type bit that has the like the furnaces with foods on. In some steak in there at the moment. Everyone loves a good steak. Okay, nearly there. All right, so that is the premise of this. It's just to try and use the redstone. Okay, so this is the house. Lots of sandstone. Mainly because um, over in the the village over there, there was a pyramid. And I just thought, I want sandstone, I'll just take the pyramid down. So that's what I did. So this is the kind of the view from the main bedroom big glass. I, I wanted a tinted green, I'm not quite sure why. There was reasoning. And glass floor. Just because I wanted to. And then this it goes down the set of the stairs. Just like that. So these rooms currently don't have anything in them. I might possibly kind of turn one into like a spare room, bedroom, because I like doing that kind of thing. That's why I like it, is I find it very therapeutic. I probably will put an enchanting table in one of them. Downstairs is split between the storage room. As you saw earlier. This is probably going to be the kitchen. So there's the furnaces. Oh, some steak going on. Nothing in there. And... I'm not quite sure what's going on in here. Might be just a random junk room when I'm done, probably. Uh, the inside of the stables. I use the um. I'll oh, wipe right, one of the horses over. Um, I use the fences like this because I, th I find it's quite an easy little way of um being able to control because they can't go through just one open one, but they can go through two, and it's an easy way of being able to control that. Alright, that's where I'm going, Reed. If I go over this hill. So, uh, I don't know if you've found saddles and horses and whatnot. Horses are a lot more abundant recently, I've found. Um, but they don't particularly like going through water. I know they can go about two or three blocks deep, but then they just chuck you off. Let's see there. I'm just using their farm, I'll be honest, just kind of then again, I find that if you kind of cultivate the farms as you go along, even if you're just exploring and you don't tend, intend to stay there, 
you can still get some potatoes, some carrots, and some even some bread. Sometimes you can make enough to when you actually kind of cultivate it for them. Um, I'll show you where the pyramid used to be. It's over there. There you go. I've not actually taken the other blocks down, but it was all kind of conjoined into these other buildings. And I just thought, screw it, I want some. <laughs> I've always liked sandstone. So I uh, borrowed it. But I made sure they had still had access over there to those houses. Because some of them didn't actually. I, I'm one of those people that when you go through a village and they can't actually access all the buildings, I will put blocks down so they can do it. So there we go. They can get in and out quite easy there. Actually, I need to kind of cultivate all this stuff. So we've got a church and some longish buildings, the smaller ones. All in the lovely sandstone. So there we go. Well, this has been um, a bit of an uneventful Minecraft. Um, <laughs> sorry. But um, hopefully I will update you with some idea of the redstone when I get some. Um, looking at how my internet is, I probably do have a lot of time on my hands to be able to. Uh, look into it a little more in detail. I was hoping to do a bit of research as well, but <laughs> if you have been into that. Anyway, this has been uh, Minecraft with no particular destination in mind, and I have been Friendo Bagel. Thank you, and have a lovely day.